So I get to preach on Mother's Day, which is a really neat thing for me because I got some great moms in my life. But as I'm doing my research, I came across some things that I think would really help us men. These are, these are things not to buy your wife. First thing, don't buy anything that plugs in. It's, it, if it requires electricity, it's just seen as kind of utilitarian, a little cold. Don't buy clothing that requires sizes. Uh, 6,999 times out of 7,000, you're going to be wrong. I mean, she's gonna say, what, do I look like a size 16? Oh, I used to be an eight, but now I'm more like a 12. Uh, stick to scars, uh, your old sweatshirts, uh, you know, too big, too small, you can't win. Avoid all things useful. You just can't win. I don't care if it's a, a furniture polish that you'll do it once. You'll never have to polish it again. Uh, if it's if it's advertised to save hundreds and hundreds of hours, if it's advertised to, to cut back on time, just just avoid it. If if it's useful, if it's meant to be useful, don't buy it. Don't buy anything that involves weight loss or self improvement. No books. No, no gym memberships, nothing at all that would suggest that she's overweight or not perfect. Just avoid it. Just stay away. Don't buy jewelry. Just don't do it. The jewelry she wants, you can't afford, and the jewelry you can afford, uh, she doesn't want it. Finally, don't spend too much, because then you're going to hear, how are we supposed to be able to afford this? But then don't spend too little, because she won't say anything and then all she's going to be thinking is is that all he thinks i'm worth so just you know just be careful so these are the tips for you men buying that special gift for your for your wife for your mom hopefully this helps uh if you're looking for somewhere to go uh somewhere special to go sunday on mother's day come down to cumberland county community church uh we have two services nine and eleven we welcome you there